Last episode, I took you through the details of the input processing. Today, I'll walk you through the output processing. The DL1608 Digital Live Sound Mixer has six aux ends plus the stereo main left right, each with their own independent 31 band graphic EQ and compressor limiter. To get to these output processors, just press the graphic EQ at the top of the master output channel. This takes you to the 31 band graphic EQ. Each band has plus or minus 12 dB of adjustment. The main left right graphic EQ is great for adjusting the overall tonality of your mix and for dealing with unwanted room resonances. Alternately, the aux graphic EQs are perfect for feedback suppression and making your wedges sound just right. Switching between the different output processors is achieved by using the output selector on the far right. Notice the color coding which easily identifies the various outputs. There are two modes for adjusting the graphic EQ. When draw mode is enabled, you can quickly use your finger to draw an EQ curve across part or all of the bands. This is great for roughing in your EQ curve at the start of a show. For example, you may want to cut some lows from your singer's wedge or boost the highs a bit in your mains. Once you have it dialed in to a good starting point, disabling draw mode prevents you from accidentally making any sudden or major changes. Now you can fine tune just one band at a time by touching and dragging the EQ slider. Double tapping a band resets it and as always, the current parameter display at the top shows you the exact value of the control you are adjusting. You can even touch the readout and type in a specific value. Each output has a compressor limiter as well. These will help you protect your main speakers, monitor wedges, and of course the hearing of musicians wearing in-ear monitors. To get to the output compressor limiter, just swipe up in the gray area above the graphic EQ curve. The controls for the compressor limiter should look pretty similar to the compressor controls on the input channels. You can change the threshold, ratio, and makeup gain from the graph, as well as from the controls on the right. Here you can also adjust the attack, release, and knee controls. In the middle, you see the detailed metering. And like the graphic EQ, the other outputs are just a touch away using the output selector. Or press the mixer button to get back to the mixer view. That's it for output processing. Join us next time for more DL1608 information.